New on 4 News Now at 630. With reproductive rights on the docket today in Olympia, it has been busy. Two bills protecting reproductive freedom have been discussed through public hearings. Emily Bloom explains what's under consideration. The first bill, AD202, would amend the state's constitution to include that the state will not interfere with anyone's reproductive freedom decisions. Following that, Bill 5242 prohibits cost sharing for the coverage of abortion services. Tuesday morning's hearing for 8202, Governor Inslee led the public in giving testimony. I believe this right of choice needs to be included in our constitution. It needs to be enshrined in our constitution and it needs to be embedded in our constitution. Many followed on both sides of the aisle. Do not vote to advance this bill. No one has the fundamental right to take the life of another human being. On the heels of Roe v. Wade being overturned, these Washingtonians fighting to either protect our abortion rights or fighting against them. This is not a decision to be made by government. I never thought I would see my children and grandchildren have fewer rights than I had as a young woman. Following this hearing was another for Senate Bill 5242, which prohibits cost sharing for the coverage of abortion services. Out-of-pocket costs are one of the biggest barriers to abortion access. Either way, it is wrong for taxpayers and those using private insurance to have to shoulder the cost of abortions, an elective, an elective and controversial procedure. And later in the day, legislators spoke about these abortion protection bills at a rally. Representative Lori Jenkins says we should be celebrating the 50th anniversary of Roe v. Wade. We are instead here right now mourning the United States Supreme Court taking away for the first time in history a constitutional right. Right. And Representative Charlotte Mena fighting to keep Washington a sanctuary state. We need to protect the health of our democracy to ensure that we can be well advocated for. And a lot of you have already done this work. You've done the work on the other side leading up to November, and now we're here to finish the race. We'll be following how and if these bills continue to move through the Senate. Reporting in studio tonight, Emily Bloom, 4 News Now.